Want to get to some of the other headlines that we are covering? You are taking a live look over at the New York City skyline. Rudy Giuliani, the former New York mayor there, must turn over sports memorabilia and other prized possessions to two Georgia election workers who won a $148 million defamation judgment against him, including his New York City apartment, more than two dozen luxury watches, and a 1980 Mercedes that was once owned by a movie star. That's according to a judge. A lot to discuss here, so I do want to bring in Lev Parnas, a former associate of Rudy Giuliani. Now, important to note, Parnas was previously sentenced to 20 months in prison after being found guilty in federal court on fraud and campaign finance charges. Again, joining us this morning to talk more about uh, Rudy Giuliani here and that ruling. Lev, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. Good morning. Thank you for having me, Judge. Of course. Well, I do want to get, as a former associate of Giuliani, your reaction here to this ruling overall. Well, you know, uh, I think it's uh, accountability has uh, is starting to set in. I mean, uh, Rudy's been playing the line for a while now. He's been, uh, you know, trying to scale his way through the system. And I think it's finally caught up with him. And uh, it's unfortunate that out of the whole Trump group that Rudy's going to be the first one that's going to be held accountable for his actions in the 2020 election. Are you surprised by any means on this ruling here? We're talking again about memorabilia, apartment, a lot of different uh, really just items that he owns. I mean, it's crazy to think about. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it, the fact that, you know, it's uh, Rudy Giuliani and he has all of this artifacts through the years because of his history that he's been. Yes, those are some of incredible stuff that he's going to end up losing because of his actions. And that probably means a lot more to him than just the money itself. Uh, so it's 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 a sad day. I mean, it's a sad day to see uh, the fall of, you know, the um, America's mayor. And it's also a sad day to see a person that I used to, you know, look up to, a person that, you know, I considered like a father figure. He was the godfather to my son. And then to see him fall the way he did and continuously do what he's doing, it's, it's a sad day. But, but at the end of the day, accountability is good. And I'm glad that, you know, we're starting to see accountability for their actions. And I do want to talk a little bit about that downfall, so to speak, because he was America's mayor. He was well known and now he is. What do you think has kind of changed the public perception of Rudy Giuliani over time? Well, I think Rudy Giuliani changed the public sweet perception of himself, uh, chasing the spotlight. Well, a lot of people never knew or didn't understand about Rudy was, you know, people have their own vices. Some have drugs, some have, uh, you know, the, uh, gambling. For Rudy, it was fame. Uh, when he lost in 2008, yes, he was still Rudy Giuliani. He was still America's mayor, but he didn't have the spotlight. And when Rudy wants, walks into a room, he wants to be acknowledged. He wants the attention. So when Trump ran in 2016, that was his opportunity to get back in the limelight and he kind of sold his soul for that and as you could see he's still doing it down and that's the downfall because he'll do anything and say anything just to be able to get in front of a tv camera do you still see that relationship as strong between rudy giuliani and former president donald trump the sad part is they never really had a good relationship. There was always kind of a weird relationship. Trump always blamed Rudy for his Russia gate because Rudy didn't accept to be the attorney general and he had to put sessions in, 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 instead. So from st starting, and Rudy always had a uh, issue with Trump because Rudy wanted to be secretary of state and Trump never made him secretary of state. So they always didn't have like that close, close relationship, but they had that relationship where when Trump knew he had somebody to turn to, Rudy would get it done. Rudy would go to any extreme that nobody else would to. So they had that's the relationship that they had. Why do you think that was that he would go to any extreme? Uh, you know, uh, uh, I think he got caught up himself into his hatred toward, towards Joe Biden uh, because of uh, his own uh, uh, wanting to go and get Joe Biden, thinking that Joe Biden was corrupt at the same time thinking that that is going to help Donald Trump win the election and put himself in the in the good graces back in and maybe get that uh, Secretary of State job. Uh, that's what drove him and pushed him because he always believed that his relationships internationally were a lot better than anybody else that were around Trump. 
All right. Well, Lev, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. Is there anything else that you want to make sure that people watching at home are aware of? I mean, listen, uh, I, I wrote a book. Uh, the movie came out. I think it's very important for people out there uh, on both sides to understand who Donald Trump is and what he's all about, uh, because these elections are extremely important. And a lot of the uh, nonsense that you see going back and forth is really not relevant. The relevancy is, I think, it, what is really important is to understand his true relationship with Vladimir Putin. And um, uh, I think that is an extremely dangerous to our country. And uh, I think it's something that is being overlooked at right now. But I think that's something that is extremely important. And my last question for you, actually, just thought of another, because I know that you are authoring a book. Can you tell me about that? Because I imagine that provides some insight into everything. Absolutely. It's called Shadow Diplomacy. It's on Amazon. Uh, and basically, it goes into full detail. I put in text messages, emails, pictures of everything that transpired in my four years association in Trump world uh, while I was basically his right hand in Ukraine, Venezuela, Turkey, and other things. All right, Lev, thank you again for taking the time to join us here and, and to break down your experience and your thoughts, of course, on the situation here. We appreciate it. Thank you, Josh. Have a good morning. Thank you. You too.